Libra, welcome back to Emperor's Light. It's me, Tony, with your channel tarot card message for today. All right, hopefully you had a good day. We are gathered to see what spirit has to say in regards to your current love energies, right? What's surrounding you at this time and what's coming forward to romantically, right? So, like the video, subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow, all right? Add your energies into the reading so that we can get a more accurate reading on your current love energies or your potential person or the romantic energies coming towards you, right? Don't force the message to fit if this does not resonate with you. Remember that there are other readings for Libras on the channel. You may want to check your moon rising, right? Maybe even your Venus placements as well to get a more accurate description of what's going on with you romantically, right? Your love energies. So we're going to get right into your message. Let's see what spirit has to say in regards to your current love energies. What do we have for the air sign Libra today, spirit? All right, no jumpers. So grounding your message today, air sign Libra. We got the world card. Okay, so this could be travel for you or a Sagittarius coming towards you in regards to love or romance, right? Now, the world for me also symbolizes the world wide web. Not everyone can get out, right, to go traveling. Another way to do that sort of thing is going on, online or in a book or something like that. But we know that the world for me symbolizes the world wide web, the Internet. So we could have a traveler coming towards you or this could be someone coming towards you on the Internet, right? Maybe you're traveling yourself or maybe you're surfing online and you're coming. Uh, you're going to be coming across something muse activity here maybe a young individual some sort of a young artist mm -hmm. right. a singer or a dancer this could even be poetry as well six of gems equal give and take could be sharing an apport okay so the vision that i'm getting in my head <laughs> this is like couples pottery <laughs> okay so yeah you may come across something uh online I don't know why it seems different for me. I mean, I've never done anything like that before. This may be something that you see online, maybe being inspired or amused activity to try something new here. Maybe you're some sort of an online salesman as well, right? Receiving uh, gifts, receiving payment. Um, maybe you practice some form of an online... Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, some sort of a salesman or something like that or you offer some sort of a gift okay so we have an immature an amateur clairvoyant here an energy reader right or maybe you do some sort of an online poetry or something like that i'm getting like tiktok vibes king of gems so this is the energy headed towards you right we have a yeah someone very financially stable and supportive right someone very health conscious as well they're very so they value their time right this person will come off as controlling Maybe they, they appear very abundant, right? Um, nice cars, maybe a nice home or something like that. It has to be some sort of a boss, someone with a high work position. This could possibly be an entrepreneur as well. Because right? I'm getting a lot of online sales vibes, right? It reminds me of like Amazon. So I don't know, maybe you're watching Amazon or something like that. Or you're maybe purchasing, purchasing a gift for someone on Amazon. We have our major arcana and the high priestess, so a teacher here, or someone very spiritually inclined, right? This could be a deep spiritual awakening coming towards someone, or again, this could be a clairvoyant, right? Yeah, they have some sort of a business here. So this is volunteer work, right? Kind of like what I do. Mm -hmm. Or um, it could be volunteering, or it could be... Maybe this is like some sort of a business model that someone has, right? It's going to come off as a non-profit business or something like that. Yeah, but this person's spiritual. The Nine of Storms. Okay, maybe a little bit of confusion or nervousness here. Sleeplessness, right? Anxiousness, frustration even. Mm -hmm. Maybe this person has a lot on their plates. Or they just deal with a lot of mental here. This could be a lot of people coming towards them with a lot of mental angst, right? Because the high priestess, I mean, she's very stoic for the most part. And she's a teacher, so that would definitely be, you know, healers attract people that need to be healed. Teachers attract students. So the vibe I'm getting here, someone has some sort of an online business for the most part. Doesn't necessarily have to be, 
right i walk through the city and i see um basically what i'm getting here is like some sort of an energy healer maybe a tarot reader or an oracle reader right a palm stress or something like that maybe someone practices astrology right but again some sort of an online business right your bonus card the star card, wish fulfillment, Aquarius, right? So again, something out of a box, eccentric, right? Not everyone goes to the hospital or goes to a doctor. Some people goes to an exorcist or they go to an energy healer, right? Sound baths, right? Um, what do they call them? Sound bowls, that sort of thing, right? Um, possibly even acupuncture, right? This could be someone starting a, uh, a Reiki business or some sort of a massage therapy business, right? I'm getting a lot of online services. I'm not really getting anything brick and mortar here. So the person that's coming towards you is very business oriented, right? Again, they may be some sort of a spiritualist or some sort of a healer. Um, what else am I getting? Your one major arcana to show up here, Libra, is the high priestess. So again, this could be an, uh, an evolutionary period for you when it comes to your spirituality, right? And then we have the Page of Bubbles and the King of Gems, right? So this is inspiring someone to be some sort of a business uh, business owner, right? Or vice versa. Maybe you're inspiring some sort of a business owner to take their spirituality more seriously, right? These people need to find a way to detox, right? Can't always buy your happiness. Sometimes you have to experience your happiness. It's literally what I'm saying, so I don't even know how that resonates. <laughs> But yeah, definitely love coming towards you, success coming towards you, some sort of a self-awareness coming towards you as well, a spiritual awakening possibly. Right? For romance headed towards you, some sort of a muse activity. Uh, I can't even tell you if this person is younger than you or older than you, right? This could even be some sort of an opposites attract sort of thing, right? This could be like a uh, wealthy man um, investing in like a uh, very talented but not wealthy woman. So I got this in the last reading as well with Libra. We could have like a young struggling artist or not even, they may not even be struggling. This may be, if, so if I'll put it this way. If you do have a storefront business or you do own, own like some sort of an art gallery, you're going to have someone very successful come into your art gallery and purchase, probably over purchase on one of your pieces of art, right? So that's what I have for you. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you on the next one, um, Libra. Peace.